Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Alan Carlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the pound cat. So the British pound has been pillaged from pillar to post in recent times, and this has largely been due to obscene levels of inflation and an energy crunch that has affected the country's currency and quite strong fears of recession. Conversely, the Canadian dollar has been quite strong largely due to relative strength in its commodity sectors, which have done very well and kept it afloat, and also a more hawkish uh, central bank has allowed it to be strong, especially with regards to currencies such as the euro and the pound. As we move over to the charts, and we first we're going to have a look at the weekly chart. We're going to zoom right out. And what we can see is that we're at um, multi-decade lows, and as we put in our support points, we actually haven't been this low since 2011. As we just pop in there, let's just, oops. Sorry, it's struggling a little bit here. And we've got it there. And also since not in the mid 1980s, which is that other. So this is our long-term support zone. What that means is, we expect the price to probably at the very least bounce up at some stage or before um, either breaking back down or um, you know not being able to and just carrying back up there. The other thing we can see is that we're in this very uh, low point of the RSI. We're below that 30 mark. And every time we've been below the 30 mark, we've seen a bounce of some sort, as you can see on the chart. So that's a really positive sign that a bounce will come at some stage. And whilst it may be a bounce and then a fall back down, there is definitely that short-term long swing opportunity. So as we move into the daily chart, I'm just going to bring it up and make it a little bit bigger. As we can see, and as we discussed, we've obviously got this long-term support. Let's just zoom back out. We've got this long-term support at about 150. As we can see, the chart's going to go that way, so we're just going to make it a little bit Bigger. So this is our real support zone. So around this 150 zone, we've got a lot of price action, this really strong support. So expect the price to bounce. And that's what we are looking for potentially for that either short term or longer term um, long opportunity. So the first target with quite a slight, tight stop loss is about 158. And that's our first real target. And if we're able to get through there without falling back down, we can potentially move up higher to the one, um, 166 zone. So guys, there's one to watch, the British pound and the Canadian dollar. Just be weary that we are sitting on that historical support level and a bounce is looking likely in the uh, short-term future. But again, it may fall back down. There you go. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.